So today's job was building this. At first I thought we were about to start playing cubo, but no, those are tree nails. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! So this is another performer, it's just a piece of plywood which the frame will be cut out and they're using this little stick to go all the way around so that goes against that frame, that goes against that frame and they should be very close or preferably touching each of the frames. So before the frame gets cut out of that piece of plywood you need to make sure the plywood actually will fit against the outside planks because there's no point putting the frame in first if the planks aren't even going to reach it. So these adjustments have to be made. There will be some nails hit into the bottom of it once the shape has been made properly. And then that will be taken to the workshop over there and the frame will be cut out. When the frame's cut out, this paint will be applied wet before it gets mounted onto the boat. So there are two main types of ship saws. One is where the whole saw tilts to an angle so the wood that you're cutting can stay flat on the table. It's a much bigger machine. This one, the table tilts, which means the saw stays exactly where it is. The disadvantage is it's a lot more complicated because that piece of wood needs to be held onto this table and it, of course the tendency will be to slide it off to slide off so you need a lot more hands to just cut one piece of wood because you need someone on each end and you need to prevent it from sliding off as well so it can be two people for a small piece of wood up to four or five people for a big piece of wood
So we're trying to make the most out of the wood we've got without having to cut into a brand new piece. So we have the old piece of futtock in there, one part of the frame in here, and then another one here. And then we're missing one more that's gonna be attached onto here that will reach up to the top. This is not all gonna stay. Once the frames are in, I'm gonna put replace this. Then we're gonna work a bit higher up on the boat. And then we can start working on the interior. I think so. Yeah, it's probably how it'll go. That's the last piece of frame of the frame that I was showing you before. That one's gonna reach to the deck. That just has to be cut first. So, so far, one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new frames, two more waiting over there. Well, actually, that's one that is going to be put together. So, it's 11 frames on the port side. And there's one in front that's already good. What we do here is when two pieces of wood are connected, two pieces of frame, they have to be at least two screws holding it together. So, you couldn't just have one here and one here. You need two holding this t with that. And you also need two, one, two, holding this with that. And then two more at the other end, bar, holding this to the original piece. If you have one, it can like turn. So, pause this because our frames arrived. Well, our frames, I wish they arrived pre made, but the wood for our frames arrived, MP. You're gonna have a look.
No time wasted. Just arrived. Rain's already being made. Isso aí que apareceu aqui em cima, hein, o caranguejo? Fourteen frames placed already. We're just trying to figure out how high up they be because they haven't been fast enough at the top yet. When putting these frames on, the angle of drilling a hole into the wood isn't always the easiest. Have a look at this. bought so we've managed to fit them all the way to here we had to keep two old ones in here just to structure while we remove the others now the others are in place these two can be placed but we're just waiting for some wood to arrive so it's 12 and 13. we've got another one two four same here these were left in place while the other frames are being fixed now there's one two three, four more to go here ow so much dust everywhere once these frames are fit, these can be removed and so on. And then we're almost at the back of the boat. of the boat there are about 24 new frames and nine more to go 25 more no, 25 frames nine more to go we don't have any more wood to build frames so we need to wait for that to arrive so what's happening right now which is very cool is we've got one two three four six frames already made on the starboard side so on the starboard side we're going to start taking down lots of the bad wood so when new wood arrange arrive for frames there goes the bedroom we could start putting frames on this side hopefully this side will be a lot quicker even though the other side was quick
so today's job was building this and I was wondering what they are for now I know so I can explain it to you our frames are being held together with two screws already but the screws naturally will move a bit so to really make them very firm against each other we are going to use three nails so as you can see here we have the two screws that were there already a new hole with the three nail inside and that's what we are going to do in every single frame So from the bow almost all the way to the engine room we have already got the tree nails so for every two screws which is one uh, futtock to the next we have one tree nail same to the floor timbers for every two screws one here two screws one two screws and so on so we're in the boat right now a lot is being done but we thought we might as well start thinking about the inside because there are so many possibilities and we were so overwhelmed with everything that MP has a very good friend Bruna who is actually Hi, volunteered <laughs> to come and help us I am beyond happy to have Bruna here with me because I'm really excited about starting to work in the interior and I couldn't think of anyone else but her because we've been friends since forever and I'm really happy that she's now a part of the project too and why do you think Bruno would be good for our interior? Because she's a very good architect. <laughs> yeah. So we told her to picture the worst interior, dirtiest, messiest interior of a boat possible. So she pictured that and then we said, it's worse. <laughs> so if you have a look, we'll give you a little walkthrough. And we really appreciate her walking into this battle zone, war zone, everything. <laughs> That is just opened up, broken. Yeah. Different waves, different strands of life, primal codes, cryptic by design. We just flow, I like to float and lux. Everything we are writing down now is a secret. Ready? There's no way. That works. No. <laughs> I was saying, no, there's no need, I can see. And now the lights are just like, whoa, that's so much better. <laughs> no, she said, this is so much worse. She wants to leave now. <laughs> now she sees the real boat. If you think you know what fades in store, embrace yourself for change. Cause you, you are. Was never set in stone And things go down With a magic of their own So I want a 60 inch flat screen over here With surround sound all around So I can sit in there and watch my movies and my series I want floor heating but also floor calling for when I'm in Brazil it, we are not, no, we don't know what to do with that room yet, but I was thinking of like a mini sauna or a steam room. Uh, steam room might be better because it's like very enclosed with fiber, with plastics. <laughs> so 
seriously now what we want from this interior is something that is very practical easy to maintain or as easy as possible to maintain we don't want to start adding lots and lots of new things that we might never use so we want to keep it simple to start with as everything's built from wood onto wood we can always change it later so let's just try and make it simple but practical at the same time i've heard a few times and i really agree that on a boat everything needs two three purposes so this could be storage bed and sofa for example or it could uh, that might be storage fridge and something else so we're trying to really just blend in some ideas so each thing item on this boat can serve more than one purpose of course it's not possible with everything but we want to keep it simple we don't want too many electric appliances we want to have what's necessary if we want to add something later we can but it's easier to add than to remove i think so that's what we're trying to go for Bruna, you have to do a good job with this room because this is where you're sleeping. <laughs> Boys and toys, stop. I'm just trying to measure the distance between me and you. It's zero. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> We were coming to the beach to film the, you know, the names of the patrons in the sand and something amazing happened and we found a bottle in the water and we went to go and see what it was. Well, then P went to go and see what it was and we have the bottle now and we are now going to reveal what was inside that bottle. That's so exciting. So, yeah, unbelievably, there was something inside the bottle and we're really curious. I am betting there is a treasure map. What is it? A certificate of sponsorship? <laughs> so guys, we are releasing now our sponsorship program. It was a suggestion from our patrons that we open the opportunity for people to sponsor or adopt a piece of our boat. So you will be donating the amount that it takes for us to buy the timber that becomes the frame. And with that you'll get the sponsorship certificate and also mainly your name will be put in the piece you adopted. So whenever we start traveling we can take you with us on our boat. So if you're interested in this we will leave a link below so you can just go and have a look at it and see what this is all about. We're really happy about releasing this now and we hope you enjoy this idea And too. you'll get this little certificate yeah, somewhere. Yeah, you get the certificate of adoption but mainly your name being carried with us. Yeah. So thank you so, so, so much to Jean. Jean. Thank you, Clifford. Thank you, Anna Carolini. And thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, Franz.